I actually have um, quite a few more examples of uh, recent celebrities who had seizures and other things. Kelly Osborne, case number three. She's 28. She's an English fashion designer, singer, actress, and is best known for being the daughter of Ozzy and Sharon Osborne. Kelly, while filming her E! show, Fashion Police, was taken to a Los Angeles-based hospital where she was expected to stay overnight. She actually stayed two weeks. While she was recording the episode, she turned to another star and said that she didn't feel well before she fell out of her chair shaking. An audience member that happened to be a doctor reportedly fled to her aid. She came around a few minutes after the seizure, but her team wanted her to go to the hospital for tests. There was no cause found for any of these seizures, and prior to that, in June of 2012, she suffered from what was described in the Huffington Post as an emotional breakdown on a flight. Sources said that by the end of a flight, Osborne had looked completely disheveled and was basically carried down the corridor to the airport tram. They surmised something must have triggered a reaction from her during a four-hour flight, but she had even tweeted photos of herself looking very pulled together at the beginning of it, which was a far cry from how she looked when she left the plane. And again, this is a pretty young girl. She's 28, having See, unexplained are- seizures. These people are all under 30. These are just exactly what I was talking about. These are the young people who've had multiple radiation exposures, and they're they're more weakened uh, and compromised than uh, older adults. It's it's the cum- cumulative effect in the the illnesses caused in our soldiers and veterans from exposure to depleted uranium and fission products in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, Similar symptoms and illnesses have been reported. And the number one disease, the number one complaint diagnosed by the Veterans Administration in our soldiers and veterans from these radioactive wars is neuro muscular damage and polio was invented as a cover-up for the neuromuscular damage caused worldwide by nuclear bomb tests a medical doctor in canada dr levan was studying the uh, damage to the canadian population um from the huge nuclear bomb tests that the Soviets did in the Arctic. And one of them was such a huge uh, release of radiation that it uh, exposed every person person in the Northern Hemisphere to the equivalent of a a chest X-ray. And Dr. Levan was looking at illnesses and, and infant mortality, things like that, uh, where the the big clouds of radiation came down through central Canada, through Alberta. And if you read that paper, you realize that polio is the cover story. It's a, a it's an invented disease to cover up and hide the neuromuscular damage that was caused globally by the nuclear bomb tests. So uh, I'm not surprised these are happening. Um, It sounds like they may have mitochondrial damage as well. Uh, Mitochondria are little um, things in the cell that produce all the energy for the body. And I've seen Iraqi soldiers um, on panels that at conferences that I've been at where they, w- they would start talking. They were all very, very, very sick. It was so sad. It was just almost unbearable to see these young lives that were already finished. Um, and I remember one young woman who'd been in Iraq as a soldier, and she would, she, in the middle of her talk, she would talk for maybe five minutes, and then she would just sit there because 
uh, the mitochondria were not working properly in her brain, releasing energy to um, propel the, the signals that go down the nerves, and they have to stop at these gas stations. They're called the syntaxes. And it's where the that smoke signal made out of calcium goes down the nerve, and it stops at the the, the syntax and um, picks up energy so that it can go on to the next one. These are like gas stations along a freeway. She just had to sit there until the mitochondria, even though they were compromised, they were producing some energy, but not enough, fast enough. So it interrupted her talk. And we're just going to see more and more um, of these kinds of symptoms and strange diseases and uh, things that that should not be happening to especially people as young as the people you're talking about tonight.